once it's crowded, it's every man for themselves. Yeah, it's caused problems. There's always going to be problems, but there's so many more events to go to now. It's wild and you can make money. You can make money uploading your content. But if you're young and able and you're in a lawn chair, dude, do not bring a lawn chair unless you are a Corvette guy. Only Corvette guys bring lawn chairs. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we need to talk about car show etiquette. Things you should never do at a car show as a spectator. Now there are many types of car shows. As you know, you have your casual car meets all the way up to your concourse shows, your car week shows, the quail, for example. Different rules, sometimes there are no rules. If it's a casual meet and it's just you and your buddies, you're meeting somewhere at night, there really aren't any rules. And then on the other end, if you're at a concourse show, there could be several rules, several rules, and it could be very strict with lots of security and things you definitely don't want to do. So you want to be familiar. You always want to be familiar with the event, with the venue, what's going on there, what's the atmosphere like, what's the crowd like, what's expected of you, because it definitely varies a lot. A lot of these points should be universal in my opinion. You should always obey the laws. You should know the laws in the area because it's just not worth it, man. Take it from somebody that has been in trouble when they were younger. It is not worth it to do dumb stuff. Don't be a dummy. First of all, don't encourage other people to drive aggressive. Don't pressure people. Don't worry about looking cool and showing off. It is just not worth it, man. People rev their engines. People spin out with cold tires. They wreck. And then all of a sudden, we lose the cars and coffee venue. And nobody wants to lose a venue. With these little things, they might seem little at the time. All it takes is a couple of noise complaints or somebody running into a tree and then you lose the venue. So don't encourage people, don't egg people on. It's just not worth it. You want to race, go to the track, go to a private airfield, or at least go somewhere where nobody's around. Whatever you do, do not bring a lawn chair unless you are a Corvette guy. Only Corvette guys bring lawn chairs, you know, because it just ruins the shot, man. It ruins the shot as a photographer. I know not everybody's gonna agree with this one, but when you have an ugly lawn chair, you can't get a good picture of the car. So no lawn chairs, get up and get some exercise. A lot of you guys that have lawn chairs too, you need to get up and move around, get active. That's gonna keep you young. The lawn chairs make you old. Now I know some of you probably need the lawn chair. If you're handicapped, if you have back problems or knee problems, it's okay. I'm not saying that nobody should ever bring a lawn chair. But if you're young and able and you're in a lawn chair, dude, dude. And when I say young, I mean well under 60 years old, you shouldn't have a lawn chair, okay? It's not acceptable unless you, unless you wear jorts, New Balance, and you're a, unless you're a Corvette guy. You're expected to bring a lawn chair and it's got to have Corvette. It's got to be a Corvette lawn chair and you got to have your plaque. And speaking of handicap, never take up a handicap space, man. Never, never, ever, ever park in handicap unless you are instructed to. At some of these venues, someone will be out, even cars and coffee, someone will be out instructing traffic. And if they instruct you to park in handicap, okay. If they instruct you to take up two spaces, okay. Other than that, don't be selfish with parking. It's not cool. It's never cool. Just don't do it, man. I don't care how big your car or truck is. Do not do it. Don't ever gossip about other people at the venue or the venue itself, the area, the location. Just don't say bad stuff, man. You don't want to instigate people. You don't want to piss people off, bring bad vibes, bad energy to the event. It's just not cool, man. So don't gossip. Don't talk smack. It's just not cool, man. Oh, there's nothing but crappy American cars at this event. Oh, there's all, only douchebags here, only rich people here. All of these entitled people with daddy's money. Just don't go there, man. Just, you know, people are different. They come from different backgrounds, different areas, different situations. Some people are luckier than others. I get that. But try to be respectful of everybody, regardless if they have a lot more than you or if they don't have anything. Treat everybody the same at these events. Treat everybody with respect. Is it a casual event with you and your buddies and you meet at Chick-fil-A or is it a concourse show? 
where you're expected to dress a certain way. And look, don't shy away from these upscale events. They can be a lot of fun. If you're a car person, you should be able to go to any of these events and have fun. Try to experience as, as many different events as you can. And every year, there's just more and more events. It's insane how many events there are. It was never like this 10, 20 years ago. It was nothing like this. You can go to events year round now during the week it's crazy and we want to keep it that way so that's why i stress follow the law be respectful treat people well don't start any beef any of this nonsense man we're, i mean it's none of this high school crap it's just not worth it it affects the community people outside the community want to label us a certain way they want to act like we're all out there revving revving engines racing doing donuts causing trouble and that's not true man and that's not true never ever touch any of the cars or get into a car don't sit on the hood and take pictures you see the women doing that sometimes it's like, get out of here man you never do that ask permission if you if, if you really want to do that ask the owner's permission and sometimes they might not care they might say okay yeah you know lean up against the car get in the car a lot of them can be really friendly to let you get in the car check out the car so definitely ask the owner if the owner is around. Never make fun of random people at these events unless they deserve it. If it's a dummy that spins out, does something stupid, runs off the road, then okay, film it. Because the venue, the event, the people that run the event are going to need proof of that. So they can disassociate themselves with that person. That's very important for the venue. So definitely film that, take photos. I don't go overboard. There's no need to beat the guy into the ground. You see a lot of that. on. I don't believe in doing that. Don't beat the, everybody deserves a second chance. So don't beat the person into the ground. You never wanna make fun of random people. Maybe you don't like their car. Maybe you don't like the way they look or the way that they're acting. You never wanna do that just to get views. It'll come back on you if you do. It's not, it's not cool, man. And you always see people hiding behind private accounts that do that. They're scared to show themselves, but they'll film somebody else, make fun of somebody else, and try to make money off of it, try to capitalize on it. Not cool. Don't be that person. What am I missing here, guys? Comment below. What am I missing? What do you see at car shows that should not happen? What are things you don't want to do as a spectator? Have any of you guys learned the hard way? I'd love to know, seriously. Anybody out there that, that wrecked at a Cars and Coffee? That's got to be so embarrassing to, to spin out and wreck, man. I mean, that's got to be the worst. Has anybody done that? And what is life like after that? Did you go back to the, the venue again? Did you go back and show your face? bring your car back you know that is if you didn't get banned seriously i'd like to know you want to be mindful of your personal space especially as it gets crowded and other people's personal space you want to if you're shooting pictures you're filming i know that takes a lot of concentration a lot of energy but you want to be mindful of who's around you don't want to bump into somebody knock somebody over bump into somebody's car mirror or, or scratch up their car accidentally with something that you're carrying so be very mindful of that when the supercars show up especially if it's early you don't want to run up be the first person to run up if you see a lot of photographers around there's an unspoken rule where everybody gets their wide shots first that way no one is around the car they can all get the wide shots and then everybody comes in and gets the close-ups together don't be that one random person that runs up with an iphone i know if you're stuck with your iphone your smartphone you can't get those wide shots. You can't zoom in the way someone with a regular camera can. So you got to be patient. You got to be patient. Wait your turn. Be aware of what other people are doing. Try not to intentionally be in somebody else's shot. I know easier said than done, especially when it gets crowded. And once it's crowded, it's every man for themselves. But still, try to be mindful of others. Be, being respectful, being mindful will make a difference in the long run. You want to look for social media handles. If you really like a car and you're going to upload it to your Instagram, definitely tag the owner. Look for that Instagram tag if you don't know and share the content with the owner, with the venue. I've met a lot of friends virtually from doing that. It's a great thing to do. Again, what am I missing here, guys? What do you want to add to this? It comes down to respect for others, self-awareness, being aware of your surroundings, spatial awareness. You know, just be, be kind, man. We need more kindness. You look at social media nowadays and everybody's comment section is loaded with hate hate from trolls and it's just not cool man it is not cool be respectful to others be kind i wonder what car events are going to be like in the next five years in the next decade do you think they're going to continue to change and evolve 
They've evolved so much over the years. It's really, really crazy how much they've evolved. I wish, I know people complain about how social media is ruining the car, these kids. Social media has ruined the car community. It is not. Yeah, it's caused problems. There's always gonna be problems, but there's so many more events to go to now. It's wild and you can make money. You can make money uploading your content. There's just more opportunity now with these events. People want to look at the negative all the time, but what about the, there's a lot of positives. A lot of positives. Yeah, social media is bad, but show me an industry that isn't bad, that doesn't have corruption, that doesn't cause problems. There isn't, everything. Everything is messed up, man. You gotta, you gotta find the good, you gotta find the good stuff. Get that negative energy out of your mind. Stay away from those negative people, even if they have cool cars. Somebody has cool cars and they have negative energy, I'm out. I don't care, they could have the coolest cars in the world. I'm done, I'm, bye, bye. We don't need to be friends. Same thing with disrespect. Somebody disrespects you, I don't care where they are, they could be a billionaire, if they disrespect me, I'm done with them. Thanks for watching guys, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for part two.